all started with an idea of commitment, a movement for progress and a decision to volunteer for peace. For the past 25 years, UN volunteers have supported peace processes in war-torn societies and countries in complex political transition around the world. Often working in remote and volatile environments, UN volunteers have maintained their commitment to peace and development through volunteerism worldwide. UN volunteers began supporting United Nations peacekeeping missions in 1992, when over 700 UN volunteers were deployed across Cambodia to oversee the country's first ever electoral process. Nearly 90% of the registered voters cast their votes, and a new government was inaugurated. Since then, over 14,000 UN volunteers have been deployed to support peace processes in more than 40 different peacekeeping and political UN missions, as well as UN peacebuilding offices around the world. UN volunteers have been supporting the demobilization and reintegration of former combatants in the aftermath of conflict. Starting in Mozambique in 1993, UN volunteers have been providing food and shelter to former soldiers, teaching them how to read and write, and assisting them to rebuild their lives. UN volunteers help to rebuild the social fabric in post-conflict communities. They raise awareness on human rights, accompany the victims of violence in seeking justice, and support the healing process. From 1996 till today, UN volunteers worked closely with the people of Haiti to restore stability, strengthen Haiti's government institutions, rule of law, and promote the rights of citizens. Working at the community level, UN volunteers support a wide range of electoral activities, ranging from the registration of voters to the preparation of polling station kits and civic education. In Timor-Leste, more than 2,000 UN volunteers help to ensure a fair and transparent electoral process. UN volunteers operate in volatile environments to ensure access to basic social services for people in the most remote areas of post-conflict countries. They ensure that communities can access education, primary health care, justice and administrative services despite ongoing conflict. At the end of the conflict in Kosovo in 1999, over 200 UN volunteers provided medical care, food and set up temporary shelter for thousands of refugees returning to Kosovo. In recent years, UN volunteers have expanded their support to United Nations Security Council mandated missions. Since the Second Civil War ended in Democratic Republic of the Congo in 1999, thousands of UN volunteers have supported the stabilization and peace efforts. From elections to disarmament, demobilization and reintegration, from protection of marginalized groups to supporting air operations, transport and telecommunications. In 2004, more than 130 UN volunteers were deployed throughout Afghanistan to raise awareness of the elections, register voters in remote villages and train tens of thousands of election officials. 12 million people cast their votes to elect representatives at the local and national level. UN volunteers continue to serve in Afghanistan today, providing critical support to the reconciliation and peace process. In 2011, UN volunteers supported the electoral process which led to South Sudan becoming the newest independent country in the world. Since then, they have been dedicated to monitoring human rights and the protection of civilians from armed conflict. 25 years ago, the UN volunteers began their mission as trusted and valued supporters of peace processes around the world, and their roles have grown and evolved as the world has changed. One thing that remains constant is the UN volunteers' commitment to peace and development while extending a helping hand in times of need. UN volunteers are creating the world we want.